guys! It's Judy here with My Life as Geekai and welcome to today's video. I am actually really super excited to be bringing you guys this video. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Is that a drum roll? I'm not quite sure what that is. If you are living in Australia and you love makeup, then you know, you know that you have searched up makeup subscription boxes in Australia and you've probably just come up with Bella Box. My experience with Bella Box wasn't, you know, it wasn't what I wanted it to be and so I didn't continue using it. And that's probably the best of all the makeup subscription boxes that you will get that is Australian operated. Now, drum roll please. I have found a way to get boxy charm in Australia. How freaking exciting is that? If you love makeup, you would have already looked at boxy charm and you would have been like, I just want to get boxy charm to Australia. The products in it look so amazing. Is there any way to get this box shipped to Australia? And the answer is yes. I have the physical proof in my hands, you guys. So several months ago, it actually was a little while ago now, I uploaded a video about an Australian makeup subscription box and it was called Go Explore Makeup. Since then, I think the company has stopped operating, but that video on my channel is still getting views because people are still looking up Australian makeup subscription boxes and my video comes up. A few months ago, someone commented on my video and told me about this company called Storks. Now Storks is a female founded Sydney based service. From what I understand, their service is to be able to provide people in Australia to be able to purchase anything from any part of the world, even from countries that don't specifically ship to Australia. I'm not entirely sure how it works, but from what I can understand, Storks is kind of like the middleman. They will send my subscription through to BoxyCharm. BoxyCharm then sends my box to their US address and then from the US address that Storks has, they will then go on to ship that product to me. So they're kind of the middleman for countries that don't really specifically ship to Australia. I don't know how it all works on the custom side of things. I'm not going to get into it because I don't know anything about it. All I know is I can get BoxyCharm in Australia and now you guys can too. I'm not entirely sure when this company was founded. I feel like they've been around for a little while now, so I don't know why it's just now I've been hearing about them, which is why I'm really excited to be sharing this video with you guys because I know a lot of us are still waiting, waiting for BoxyCharm to make shipping international to Australia available. They just haven't done it yet and so Storks has come to the rescue. <laughs> so. Of course, I went through and paid my subscription for a premium box of BoxyCharm. Now it was very, very easy, very simple for me to sign up to Storks. The customer service was really quick. The response time was like within less than a day. Their customer service is really super friendly and really super helpful. If you have any questions, you just send it through in an email or even on Instagram and they get back to you really quickly with an answer that's really easy to understand. So customer service with Storks is like top-notch they know exactly what they're doing they know how to keep their customer happy and that has been my experience anyway I'm gonna leave all the relevant information for you guys in the description box down below if you do want to sign up for BoxyCharm through Storks you can do that you can also follow them on Instagram I'm going to leave their website and their Instagram in the description box down below you guys can go check them out hit them up tell them that you found them through this video tell them that Judy sent you now if you guys want to get on premium like I did I think what I first had to do was sign up for the base box, stay on that wait list, and then I'll get onto the premium subscription on the next month. So what I received here is the April base box and the May premium. Now the only downside to having the middleman to get BoxyCharm sent to you from the US is that the shipping takes a little while. It I don't know if it's because of the whole COVID crisis or because shipping from the US just generally takes a while anyway or because obviously there is a middleman so that BoxyCharm has to send it to Storks and Storks has to send it to me here in Australia. I don't know. It's probably Probably because of that. So there's just that to be aware of as well. So if you are a YouTuber like me and you are wanting to receive BoxyCharm for the purpose of being able to create more content on your channel, just be aware that you might not be able to create a monthly BoxyCharm unboxing video 
on time within the month that the box correlates to because it's going to take a little while to get to you through shipping. So there's just that to be aware of as well. However, having said that, if you want to receive BoxyCharm just purely from a consumer point of view, then do it. You might get them a month later than everyone in the US, but you'll still get the same products and all is well in the world other than having to wait a little bit longer and patience is a virtue. Um, what else was there to share? Oh yes, prices. Now, I believe the base box was $80. I could be wrong. I think the prices are subject to change without notice because it did happen with me. The first premium box that I paid for was $110, but since then, it's gone up to $120 for a premium box. I know that people in the US will pay a whole lot less for their base and their premium and probably BoxyLux and any other subscriptions they might get from BoxyCharm. But that also is because of the conversion rate that we have from Australian dollar to US dollar. It's just the way it is. Us Australians will always be paying a lot more from our dollar for anything from the US. It's just the way it goes. Also, because we are paying for a service of the middleman, it's gonna cost a little bit more as well but having said that when you look at the value of the products that you get in the box you're still getting your money's worth you're not still paying more for the boxycharm box than you would be paying to buy each individual product on their own on their own does that make sense i hope it makes sense how am i explaining this okay i'm just really excited you guys that i can finally have boxycharm on my channel. I'm really excited. Anyway, they didn't send me this box. I purchased this all on my own. I paid for this with my own money and all subsequent boxes that I'm receiving are all paid with my own money. I'm not sponsored or anything like that. I just wanted to be able to share with you guys the joy of finally being able to get BoxyCharm in Australia. Now, whew, I'm going to share with you guys what I got in my April base and my May premium. Now I'm really super excited. I can't believe I'm finally sharing this Boxy charm unboxing with you guys as Kathleen Light says when I got it I got this little note. It was a really nice handwritten note. Dear Judy Thank you for trusting us to deliver your boxes inside is the April base and the May premium can't wait for the video Well, here's the video storks girls <laughs> Here we go now. I'm not sure exactly which products were in the April base and the May premium They were all just together in the box here all together and that's just how it was sent to me I also didn't get the little info card that I know it normally comes with so what I'm gonna do is each of these products I'm gonna leave the full price for these individual products edited into the video right here as I'm talking about them and then at the end of the video I'm gonna do the math do the conversion and we'll see just how much money I saved by getting these products in a boxy charm. I'm also going to add it up and convert the money from US to Australian dollars so you guys will see the exact value that you're getting. I actually haven't done it yet so who knows by the end of editing this video I might find out that I spent a lot more money anyway but that's not the whole idea. The whole idea is actually just being able to get boxy charm in Australia. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. Let's get into this unboxing, shall we? So the first thing in the box that I'm pulling out so these are beauty sponges. It's from the brand called Hank and Henry and I think this was something that they packaged specifically to go with BoxyCharm because it does say BoxyCharm on the little box here. Tilda sponges, a big one, it's a, it's a little one. It's just a little one and there's a big one and a little one. Anyway, I'm <laughs> just really excited you guys. <laughs> so there's a larger one, there's a smaller one. I've never actually used sponges before in this particular shape. Yeah, it'll be really interesting to try it applying makeup in this particular shape and it'll be really interesting to see how big and spongy these get when they are wet. The next product in the box is this Milk Makeup Glow Oil for the lips and cheeks. So I think it's just a little bit of a, a lip and cheek tint. I think it would be really pretty for those no makeup makeup days if you just want a little bit of a glow and a little bit of tint on the skin. I think that would be really super pretty. I guess it would be really good for those days at work where I don't want to wear any makeup but I still don't want to look dead and lifeless and colorless on my face. So I think that would be really good. I haven't actually tried Milk Makeup before. And that's what's really exciting about this box is that they always come in with products that I've heard the names of, I've heard the brand names of, but I've never actually had the chance or the opportunity to try any of their products because maybe buying one inv individual product was just too expensive. And so having this service means I get to try different brands that I wouldn't normally go out of my way to try otherwise. And it's really exciting. It's kind of like a lucky dip every single month. You just get something new and you don't know what you're getting. It's really exciting. And the product in the box are generally usually all full-size products and that's what I really love about it it's just you don't get 
crappy little sample packets like you do from Bellabox. <laughs> The next product is the Kat Von D Inkwell Liner. This one is a longwear matte eyeliner. It's in the shade Bright Blue. Look, you could stab someone with that. Actually, not really. It's, it's plastic. It'll probably break before it actually hurts someone. Anyway. <laughs> okay. It's very watery. Maybe, maybe I need to shake it. Oh, it says shake it. <laughs> it says shake it, Judy. Let's see. Oh, that's better. Oh, it's very watery though. That's a nice blue. This would be really pretty if I'm doing a really colorful eye look. Oh, and it dries almost instantly too. It doesn't budge. Ooh. I'm actually really excited to try English. Goodness me, Judy. I'm actually really excited to try this eyeliner in a makeup look. It's such a pretty bright blue and it, it's not rubbing off too. Ooh. That's really nice. Actually, really like that one. Next thing is this little pair of tweezers from a brand called Chella. Never heard of that brand before. A pair of tweezers never goes astray. Like, I need one in every single room of the house because I just randomly find myself picking at little hairs on my eyebrows every so often. And it's a really interesting shape, so it makes it easy to grab. It's a nice matte gray pair of tweezers. Guess tweezers are tweezers. You know, I just. You use them, you need them. Nice to get them in the box, I suppose. It'd be interesting to see how much that costs full price. Okay, the next one is a Tarte Shimmering Lip Paint. I haven't actually tried Tarte before, and it looks like a really nice gloss. Oh, she's very glossy. Oh, that's nice. It's got little micro shimmers in it. That would be really pretty over a dark lipstick or something. Listen to the sound. I like the sound. Listen, listen. I've always wanted to try a lot more products from Tarte, so I'm really excited to have received that in the box. The next thing is this really super colorful, really super cute eye brush set. It's from the brand called Lavish. There's a super bright green eyebrow brush, there is an eye shading brush, a pencil brush, a tapered blending brush. These bristles feel really nice as well, and a fine eyeliner brush. So these are really super, super cute. I love them. I do, however, have a lot of makeup brushes already, and I think this would make a really cute present. So I actually might put this in a present that I'm putting together for my little sister because it's almost her 17th. 17 or 18? Oh my goodness, I don't remember how old my little sister is. Anyway, it's her birthday soon, so I'm gonna put this together in like a little makeup bag for her. She's growing up so quickly, my little sister. You guys have seen her hair on my channel before. And um, yeah, I'm gonna put that together for her as a birthday present. And I think something like bright and colorful like this was in the box because the month of May is Pride Month. And so that brings me to the next thing, which is this palette here. It's called Living in Color Palette. I have seen this before. I think I saw Kathleen Lights unbox Boxing this in her May Boxy Sherman box. It. This is what the palette looks like. It's actually a really cute packaging. This would be really pretty on a shelf, but it, what it really reminds me of is like teenage makeup. I'm also not gonna dip my fingers into this because I think I'll be giving this to my little sister as part of her birthday present as well. I think she'd really like this and just have fun playing with it. While I actually really like it, it's not really a palette that I would run towards purchasing simply because I feel like it's quite kitty and needless to say, I'm not a kid anymore. <laughs> So while I do appreciate receiving that, like a full-size palette like that, that's pretty good value, I will be giving this to my little sister. The next product in the box is this QMS Medi Cosmetics Intensive Eye Care. Hey guys, editing version of me here. As I was editing this video to look up the price of this 15 ml bottle, it came up with 120 euro. And obviously I don't know how much that costs. And so I did a conversion, it's 134 or 135 dollar, US dollars for this, for this. And I'm like, whoa, that's expensive because if you convert that into Australian dollars, it's probably 180 dollars worth for this. So you definitely, definitely get your money's worth with this boxy charm anyway. Like I paid 120 dollars for this premium box, which it, if it came in the premium or the April base, I'm not sure which one, but either way, I still got my money's worth. That's worth a lot of money. This must be like some super intense luxury brand to cost that much, and I'm just like, wow. I had to do a double take, like I had to check and check again and check again to make sure that that was the right price on the website, and it was. I'm like, wow, okay, 
Okay, here Nick, he's playing video games with the boys. <laughs> but like, wow, that's pretty incredible to get that in the box. It's a day and night eye cream, which heaven knows mama needs because I've been, I've been just going through it recently and the under eyes need a little bit of TLC because I'm wearing a lot of makeup right now and you cannot tell underneath, but I've got some deep dark circles and bags going on and under, <laughs> going on under there, honey. So I'm really glad I received like an eye cream like that. I'm almost out of my La Roche Posay eye cream. This one doesn't smell like anything, which is exactly what I like my skincare to smell like. Nothing. I don't like fragrance skincare, so really excited to have received that. It'll be interesting to see how much this is full price. I'm going to leave it on the screen. Excited to try that one out, actually. Skincare never goes astray with me, especially when they don't smell like anything. I don't like scented skincare. <laughs> Okay, the next product is the Benefit Pore Professional Pore Primer. Now, I've seen every beauty YouTuber talking about this one, and I never did because I never tried it. Believe it or not, I know this one's been around for ages, but it's good to finally have the chance to try it. See, this is the beauty of this box. I would, I've received things that I would never normally go out of my way to buy, to try, even though so many people are talking about them. I just, I just don't operate like that, even if everyone is talking about a product product is not necessarily mean I'm gonna go out and buy it but because I received it in the box I'm really excited to try this and it'd be nice to change up my makeup routine and my videos every so often because you guys if you watch my makeup tutorials you know I use the same things over and over and over again <laughs> all right we're getting to the end of this the next I need to get rid of this bit of foam the next thing is this Zoeva caramel melange palette and it's really really super pretty it's just so sleek the packaging is really nice and on the inside it's got some really super pretty just nice natural wearable eyeshadows now I don't super run towards eyeshadow palettes like this simply because these colors don't scream my name but if you are someone who just wants to have a nice natural little moment just a nice everyday eyeshadow palette these eyeshadows are definitely it I haven't tried Zoeva eyeshadows before Zoeva again isn't something that I've been super excited to run out and try I'm more of someone who loves the bright colorful eyeshadow palettes like Juvia's Place <laughs> and then I just like dumb talk this one but no what I'm saying is like I just feel like there's more value for money in Juvia's Place eyeshadow palettes than there would be in a palette like this like I'm I'm not I don't know, I just don't vibe with it. Having said that, like, I'm really excited to try out this Zoeva eyeshadow palette. I'll probably do a makeup tutorial using it soon, first impressions, all that kind of thing, you know? I don't know how recently this was released or if it's something that has just recently been released. What, it, did I just repeat myself? And last but not least, I'm actually really excited to have received this item in the box because I actually don't own a curling iron. So this one is from the brand called Sutra. It's a mini ceramic curling iron with a cool tip, which is helpful because I'm not very good at doing anything with my hair at the best of times. So it'd be helpful to have a cool tip for me to hold something that I hold on to while I'm curling my hair. But it's just so little and it's so cute and that's just really cool that you get something like this in a box. Like usually it's just like makeup items but this box is just like really super excited. It's just such a great way for me to try new and different things that I wouldn't necessarily think of going out and buying for myself. Which I've already said a million times in this video. So I'm really excited to try this one out. It's just really cute. It's got a lavender handle, really small size, good for traveling. <sighs> It's kind of, it kind of looks like it's something else, but do not put this anywhere else other than your hair, especially when it's plugged in. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, I, it's late. I need to, I need to stop. I need to stop already. Anyway, really excited to have got that in the box. So that was the last item in the box, you guys. I'm really, if you couldn't tell, I'm just really happy that I've been able to find a way to receive BoxyCharm here in Australia. This is the overall value of the box, and this is what I paid for it. So do the math, figure out if it is something that you wanna do, figure out if it is worth it for you. You weigh it up, pros and cons, 
whatever you want to do because of the information that I have given to you, you can make your own informed decision. It might be a little bit more expensive than it would normally be if you were buying it directly from BoxyCharm, but if you're in Australia, you wouldn't be able to get it from BoxyCharm anyway. So may as well pay the little bit extra in order to actually be able to receive this service from BoxyCharm. So thank you to Storks for existing. <laughs> Thank you for your service and providing me with this boxy charm and any future boxy charms that I will be filming and making videos of. I'm, I'm going to be doing an unboxing of every single boxy charm that I receive in the following months for as long as I can possibly afford to receive boxy charms. So again, all the information you guys need for Storks will be in the description box down below. Go check them out. This video is not sponsored. These products I bought myself and I'm just really excited to be able to share this video with you guys. So if you're up to here, thank you so much, so, so much for watching. I really, truly appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful and informational, then please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate that you've chosen to spend your time here with me today and I shall see you guys in my next video. Bye. Now we're all going to get now we're going to get into all the nitty, nitty gritty. Now we're going to get all into how um blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and they just get back to you with an answer that's really easy to these flies are just So I'm not entirely I'm not I'm top mm -hmm. beauty sponge mm. I can read, I promise. <laughs> this one is the Maybe I could read, but maybe I can't speak. Excited to try that. It's not cracking on my dry ass hands. <laughs> it's for either from May April. April. April's a month now, guys. <laughs> because I actually don't earn, earn, earn. I don't earn. And any further, further. <laughs>